What's up everybody, I'm Scott Bynell. Thanks so much for joining me today. I hope you're doing well. In today's video, I'm going to talk about, and more importantly, I'm gonna demo the 2021 mystery pedal from KHDK, the Flamingo Beach distortion pedal. All right, if you're watching this video and you're wondering what the hell is this pedal? Well, it is a mystery or like secret pedal that KHDK released in 2021 in very limited numbers. Uh, they've done this kind of thing before where they open up a pre-order and you have the option to buy this thing having no idea what the pedal is, none. So it could be anything and you might end up loving it and you might end up hating it, but that's sort of the gamble, the risk that you take when you participate in something like this. Uh, it's kind of fun. This particular pedal is a distortion pedal. It came with uh, like a sticker, a certificate of authenticity, a manual, and it came with a t-shirt, which is pretty cool. All right, before I go any further and let you know what I think about this pedal, I just wanna jump in and play it for you so you can hear how it sounds. I'm gonna play it in a demo song so you can hear how it sounds in the context of a mix. One thing to note, the guitars on this track are completely unprocessed. There's no post-processing going on. This is what the pedal sounds like. The guitars are quad-tracked, but that's it. So I'm using a PRS Mark Holcomb SE signature model that's going straight into the Flamingo Beach, which is going into the front of my PV5150 using the clean channel. So all of the clipping, overdrive, distortion that you're hearing on the amp is coming from the pedal itself. The amp is then plugged into a Two Notes Torpedo Studio with an IR loaded from GGD from their Cali Oversized Pack. That's it, let's hit it. All right, so that's the demo song. Let me know what you thought. Did you like this pedal? Did you not like this pedal? Leave me a comment down below to let me know your opinion. Also, if you are watching this and you own this pedal, I'd love to hear from you. I'd love to hear what you think. Uh, let me know how you're using this pedal. Leave a comment down below. As far as early opinions and reviews go on this pedal, you know, through anecdotal comments that I read online or messages that were sent to me from other owners of this pedal, Generally speaking, the sentiment was kind of negative. Now, that's not like everybody's view of the pedal, I'm sure, but just from what I've come across, people didn't really love this pedal. Um, some people were just kind of disappointed that it was a distortion pedal, um, like they didn't want a distortion pedal or need a distortion pedal, uh, which is fine. Um, others just weren't loving the tones that they were getting out of the pedal. It just wasn't really working with their rig or you know what they're used to in terms of like an overdriven high gain sound. Uh, in terms of my opinion, uh, who gives a shit about my opinion? But I'll give it to you anyways, because you're watching the video. Um, I'll be totally honest, when I first plugged this pedal in, I didn't love it. I really didn't love it. And I too didn't really love the tones that were coming out of it. It wasn't really what I was looking for. Um, but what I came to realize is that this pedal definitely plays differently with different amplifiers. I did try it on a handful of different amps with a few different guitars, and I did settle on a tone that I do dig. I think it's pretty crunchy, and to my ears, I thought it was kind of fun, and it was a little bit different than some of the other overdriven tones that I get from my amps and my other pedals, so I like that. One thing I'll mention too is if you do have this pedal and you're kind of fighting with it, the interplay between the EQ on the pedal and the EQ of your amp is really, really important to kind of get that balance right. So tweak away, keep playing with it and experiment. You know, your speaker combination and your mic or your IR combination is also gonna make a huge difference. But, you know, I liked it. I liked how it sounds. I think it sounds pretty crunchy. It's kind of fun, it's kind of different. Also, you can't argue, it's a good looking pedal. It's pink, sparkly, and it's got a flamingo in the front of it. What's not to love? Also, pro tip, if you're still fighting with the pedal and you really don't like the distortion sounds out of this pedal, 
you can use this pedal as a boost to your high gain amp. Yes, folks, you can do it. I've tried it, it works and it sounds pretty good. Uh, just lower the gain all the way down or just you know a little bit of gain, a little bit of clipping uh, and use it to boost your high gain amp and it works pretty nicely in that context. All right, before I close off the video, I do wanna play a little bit more guitar for you. I'm just gonna play some isolated guitar. My signal path is the exact same as the demo song, except I'm gonna switch out my guitar. I'm going to be using my 1984 Gibson Les Paul Custom. Uh, again, no post-processing on the track. It's just straight up what the pedal sounds like. Everyone, that'll do it for my demo and review of the KHDK 2021 mystery pedal, the Flamingo Beach distortion pedal. Uh, what'd you think? Let me know in the comments below if you like this pedal, if you didn't like this pedal, uh, especially if you are an owner of this pedal, I would love to hear from you. I'd love to hear what you think. I'd love to hear how you're using this pedal. Uh, you know, was this video helpful? Let me know, wanna hear from you. You know, like I said before, I think opinions on this pedal are kind of mixed. Um, I've grown to love this pedal. I actually think it's kind of awesome. I think it's fun. I think it's crunchy. I like the tones that I was getting out of it. I hope you like them too. If you didn't, 
that's okay too. Everybody's got their own opinion. Tone is entirely subjective. And you know, even if you liked it or didn't like it in this video, you're watching a video on YouTube, you know, your rig, your signal path, it's all gonna sound different depending on what you have and how you play. Like I said, I had to kind of experiment with this for a little while, but I do enjoy it. Um, thanks again, everybody. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, hope you dug the video. If you liked the video, please go ahead and leave a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And remember, stay safe and stay heavy. See you in the next video.